We can't wait any longer. And the action starts today on this new strategy. Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler finally announcing today the first official location of one of the city's new designated homeless camping sites. The city council approved the plan to open six sites, housing 250 people in November, the goal of eventually banning unsanctioned camping. But so far, the city's acquisition of these sites has been slow going. Good evening and thanks for staying with us. I'm Deborah Knapp. And I'm Rick Asway in for Steve Dunn. The proposed site is on Southeast Gideon Street across from the Aladdin Theater and down the street from Cleveland High School and Powell Park. K2's Eric Mock is live for us near that site. Eric, tell us about the area. Well, as you can see right now, there is a building and a business, but this is the site that the city wants to use for its first designated camping site. And the business here says they're going to be leasing the property to the city and they will be moving their offices. And they're hoping to do that and get this site up and running by the summer. But there's a lot of other businesses in this area and not all of them are excited for this property to come here. The city of Portland has officially announced its first designated homeless camping site will go here on Southeast Gideon Street, right next to Powell Boulevard, where this general contracting company is now. Edelweiss Sausage and Delicatessen is just across Powell from the site. We've been here for 40 years and I don't want to move. That's owner Tony Bear. He says crime is bad enough in the area and worries about this new mass camping site will bring. All of the local businesses have been broken into or held up at gunpoint. So with a large encampment, I'm terrified about what's going to happen. The city has contracted with Urban Alchemy, a California-based nonprofit, to provide services at the site. Kirkpatrick Tyler with Urban Alchemy says their approach should reduce crime, not increase it. We've been able to create systems that are built on dignity, trust, integrity, and respect. Services they provide will include two meals a day, restrooms and showers, storage, electricity, Wi-Fi, and a perimeter fence. Basically similar to a safe rest village with tents instead of pods. And no weapons will be allowed in the camp. We ask their permission to be able to search their bags. 99.999% uh, of residents uh, agree to that search. Those who don't, you know, we invite them to come back when they're willing to participate in the, you know, kind of the practices of that community. Uh, if they have weapons, we simply ask that they turn them over. We store them away in a secure place that is manned by, by practitioners. Mayor Ted Wheeler says they're aiming for the site to become operational this summer. I asked him about the other five camping sites. He says so far the city only has funding for three. So the council uh, committed $27 million. That was to fund three sites and we're calling on the county to work with us to fund three additional sites. So the county still hasn't committed that though? We're still in meetings with the governor as well as the county chair. If that's the $21 million question, you know, that's how much the city says they need from the county to fund all of these designated campsites. But get this, the county says they also need some funds from the city to fund homeless efforts. Well, this was an important waypoint. We spoke to Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler one-on-one -on -one Wednesday after he and the city council voted to approve $27 million in a fall budget adjustment to get their five resolution plan off the ground. The most controversial of those resolutions bans unsanctioned camping and creates six designated camping sites for the homeless to use. Approximately $4.2 million to go to pay for site preparation and construction costs at three of those sites. Another $12.8 million will pay operational costs for them for about a year. So I asked Mayor Wheeler when we'll start to see some progress on these camps. And the quicker we all get on the same page, the sooner we have the professional support and the resources attached to this program, the sooner it'll be up and operating. And I, I expect we'll have our first location announced very, very soon. Very, very soon. Are we talking weeks, months? You know? Before Christmas. But to fund the other three camps, the city is asking Multnomah County to provide $21 million. I asked newly elected County Chair Jessica Vega-Peterson whether the county is ready to commit to that. I don't know that we're I mean, even in a position to be talking about that. I mean, I think, you know, it would be in order to be, you know, good stewards of taxpayer money, we need to know exactly what we're buying, what we're talking about in terms of timeline, in terms of staffing, all of those kinds of questions that we're going to be having conversations about. But part of Wednesday's budget adjustment includes withholding around $8 million of city funding to the Joint Office of Homeless Services. 
Current County Chair Deborah Kafori said in a letter to the City Council that withholding that money would be, quote, devastating and counterproductive for our shared goal of urgently ending homelessness. But Mayor Wheeler said he believes the county has more than enough money to cover that gap. The county just had a work session indicating that they had $33 million in additional revenues that they did not anticipate. Additionally, the county received $10 million from the state that the city helped advocate for. Now, Chair-elect uh, Vega Peterson says that she supports the mayor's plan and these resolutions, but she shares some of current Chair Kafori's concerns about funding the Joint Office of Homeless Services. Um, but when I asked Mayor Wheeler about that, he said that he's going to have wait to have that discussion with Vega Peterson when she takes office after January.